Today we're going to install the Hilly clutch onto an LO206 engine. We're going to mount this clutch inboard, which means the driver is closest to the engine. The first thing I like to do is to put just a small amount of never seize onto the crankshaft just to keep it from getting any surface thrust on it. In case you're needing to run in damp conditions, I'll just lightly smear this around. And then we'll install the radius washer. The radius washer keeps the clutch from riding up on this fillet on the crankshaft. So it has a special tapered chamfer right at the very back of it. We need to make sure that that chamfer goes in against the radius of the clutch. And I'll rotate it as I put it on so it helps turn and smear that grease around evenly. Next, I like to use a chrome washer that comes with the Hilly kit. We'll do the same with it. Next, we're ready for the inner race. This is the part that goes inside of the bearing in the bully driver. And our bully driver has a very light coat of grease, so we're ready to go ahead and install it. The next thing I'll do is another chrome washer, followed by the grease trap or dust basket. This needs to go so that the sprocket side is facing toward the sprocket. Next there's the spring retaining ring. And then our fully assembled clutch set up to run in the aggressive position with black and white springs alternating. And you'll notice after the clutch is installed that the clutch overhangs the crank by about uh, 3 16 of an inch. You can take some 5 16 AN washers and shim that out before you put your retaining bolt on. What I typically do is take a 5 16 lock washer and put on the very end of the bolt. So the bolt is going to have a lock washer first to hold it in place, the retaining washer, and then I use this other 5 16 lock washer just as a shim to space in between. That way it doesn't bevel the retaining washer when you tighten it. I'll use an impact with just a light click. You check, make sure that you've got end plate in the basket. The drum should move in and out slightly. This one's about 30 thousandths. We talked in our previous video about an extra shim that you can run on the inside of the inner race and that would take up about 30 thousandths. If I were to place this in the clutch the way I have it assembled right now it would not have enough end play and it would end up dragging. So I like to run it just a little bit loose. It won't hurt anything on chain alignment and uh, that's that's pretty much how we assemble it on a brand new LO206 engine. Thank you for watching our videos. If you got any questions, please feel free to call us at the shop or drop us a note on our Facebook page, Carlson Motorsports. Uh, check out our website, carlsonmotorsports.com. It's a bit dated now, but uh, it's still up. And you can call us at the shop 765-339-4407. Thanks for watching. Share and uh, like our videos and, and keep, keep the, the followers up.